Halloween and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as promised, I will be doing a review on the different black pens that I own. So majority of these are from Shopee. So I will just link everything in the description box down below. So I will be showing you guys six pens for today. Okay, so we have the Pilot G Tech Point Three. So this is one of my favorite pens. And then next we have the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Point Five. So this is retractable, and this is how it looks like. Next, we have the Deli Pen in point 38. So, I love this pen. It just has this gold accent here. And again, this is also retractable. So, this is how it looks like. Next, we have this point 0.5 Vintage Ink. So, this is the pen I've been raving about on my previous vlog. So, this is the current pen that I'm using and I love this very much. So, this is how it looks like. And again, this is retractable. Next, we have this Muji 0.5 and again, retractable as well. And then lastly, we have this pen that I don't really know if this has a brand. I just found this on Shopee. I will put the link down below, but it is called the Random Design Minimalist Style Gel Pen. So it doesn't really have a brand, but this is a really good pen as well. And it is a 0.38 pen. So again, it is retractable like that. So let's go over to writing using the ball pens. So I will start with the Vintage 0.5 ball pen. Next, we will use the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.5. Next, we will be using the Muji 0.5. Next, we will be using this pen that has no brand, so I will be putting the link down below. Next, we have this deli pen in 0.38 as well. Lastly, we have this Pilot G Tech 0.3. So that is how the pens look like when written down on paper. So from the six, this has to be my top one. Although as I said before, I'm not really a fan of 0.5 pens, but this had made an exception. I really like how this writes down on paper. So the tip of the pen is very thin as you can see. So it's very smooth when using it and writing down on paper. But I have to say that the Delhi pen is good as well. It's very steady, so this is the tip of the pen. It doesn't wobble when writing down. Same with the Vintage Ink 0.5. And as you can see, it is very thin as well. In terms of grip, I like having pens with a grip like this. 
That's why comparing these two, I like this one better since as you can see, it has a rubber grip here and it makes writing very comfortable. This is very cheap as well. I will mention the prices later. So the tip of this one is a little bit similar to the Delhi pen. So it is very thin as well. So it's just like a straight stick compared to this one. It's a little bit thicker and then it narrows down. So yeah, this has got to be my top three and these three are all from Shopee. So I will be putting all the links down below. So let's go over to the last three pens up close and then I will be showing the prices later. So for the Muji pen, as you can see, it comes with a clear barrel, which is very aesthetically pleasing. Also, it will show you if you're already running out of ink. So I think that's very good. Although personally speaking, this is not really my favorite. Even though it has the same shape with the vintage ink, the vintage ink one is very stable and very steady when used. This one is a little bit wobbly. That's why I can't really control the strokes of my writing. That's why it's not really my top one. So yeah. Next, we have the Paper Mate Ink Joys. It has a clear opening in front. That's why you can also see when you are already running out of ink. I love the design. It is very sleek. So you can see there are two hearts here and two hearts here as well. So this is their design for all of their pens. So this is the tip of their pen so usually the pens that has this kind of tip these are the pens that are usually thick when putting into writing that's why i really was surprised with the vintage ink because even though it has a same kind of tip it's not really thick compared to this one. For me, this one is kind of thicker than the rest of the pens. So it has a somewhat same thickness with the Muji pen. Although I like this better since this one is more stable and steady when using on paper. So the Muji for me is really kind of wobbly. So if we're going to compare the Muji to the Paper Mate, I prefer the Paper Mate. Lastly is this Pilot GTEC.3. So I have been using this pen for the long longest time already. This is the first pen that I've ever loved. So I've been using Pilot GTEC since grade school, I think. The only problem I have with the GTEC is that, of course, it's not a retractable type like this one. So it comes with a cap, which is sometimes a hassle when I need to open and close my pen. So as you can see, the tip is very, very thin. So I have to be really careful with this one. When I drop my pen, sometimes it runs out of ink automatically. But I really love this pen and I always need to have a GTEC around me. So yeah. But again, recently I've been switching to retractable pens. So lastly, for the prices. So for the Pilot GTEC.3, if I'm not mistaken, this is around 75 pesos. And what I do is I don't buy the pen anymore. More, I usually just buy the refill. So the refill is around 60 pesos. Okay, next we have the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.5. So if I'm not mistaken, this is around 75 to 80 pesos as well. But I bought this as a set, so I have all the colors right here. So I don't know if it's much cheaper with the set. Okay, next we have the Muji 0.5. Again, I already forgot how much this is because I got this from the Muji shop itself. But if I'm not mistaken, this is around 80 pesos, I think. Yeah, this is around. 75 to 80 pesos so it has the same range with your GTEC and your paper mate okay now let's move on to the pens that I got from Shopee so again this is the Delhi 0.38 pen so this is just 32 pesos so very cheap and very good quality Okay, next we have this minimalist pen. So again, it doesn't have a brand, so I don't really know what it's called. But I will be putting the link to this pen down in the description box below. So this is only 30 pesos. So very cheap as well and again, very good quality. Lastly, for my favorite pen, which is the Vintage Ink 0.5. So this is only 29 pesos. So this is the cheapest of them all. And again, this is my favorite. 
So again, this is how the pens look like when written on paper. And these are all the pens right here. So I will be ending the review here. So watch out for my other reviews on my different highlighters and different binders and loose sheets. So I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. So if you do like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be part of the hashtag Chris Squad. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!